morning everyone another session tau overflows love the fragrance of the being and sex love the fragrance of the being and sex there are two things seed and flowering flower seed when it is allowed to grow and it is provided the proper nourishment proper understanding of the gardener then it blossoms into beautiful flower that is spreads its beauty and fragrance siddharth is the seed and when the seed blossomed to spread its beauty and fragrance it became gautam the buddha siddharth is the seed gautam the buddha is the flower in the same way sex is the seed it carries within it is existential bio energy it has been given to you for it to evolve and grow into and blossom into a flower and when it flowers it blossoms its beauty and fragrance manifests all around that is love life is not absurd it is meaningful but the meaning comes only then when the seed of sex blossoms into love life is only an opportunity to grow into love each moment life unfolds many situations for love to grow and it can grow only when you are alert and awake love can grow only when there is awareness love is the lamp of your innerness the light within when love blossoms you move to a higher plane the inner one moves and merges into another into the other and there is a feeling of oneness when seed grows you reach to the higher plane the inner one moves and merges into the other there is a feeling of oneness duality dissolves only in this non dual love you can get the glimpse of what is the state of a bhairav we may say the state of bhairav is absolute love with no return to the seed from the peak of love there is no falling back it is remaining on the peak for no reason for specific reasons we have made shiva's abode at kalash this is simply symbolic it is the highest peak peak of consciousness the holiest peak that is shiva's abode you can go as a pilgrimage as a pilgrim you can stay there for some time visit but you cannot stay there it is a journey this is what happens in certain moments we are touch sometimes the swift wings of love then you return back in love this holy pilgrimage happens but not for all because almost no one moves beyond sex we remain in the kogmaya in the quick sand of sex life long so we go on living in the valley the dark valley 
Sometimes someone moves to the peak of love or we visit that, but then he falls back because it is to be in love constantly is dizzying. It is so high and your consciousness is at the lower level. So it is difficult to live permanently in the abode of love. The difference between you and Shiva, Shiva is not dizzy, he is living. When you reach higher rungs of love, you feel dizzy, the breathing becomes normal as if you are not breathing. So sometimes you feel shortness of breath. Those who have loved, they know how difficult it is to be constantly in love. One has to come back again and again. It is the highest state of love is Shiva's abode. It is his home. And one who is Bhairav, who has gone beyond duality, beyond consciousness, he lives, he makes that his abode. He lives in the ivory tower of his own creation and love becomes that. When I say that it is his abode, I mean he is not even aware of love. For you, love is a peak. And for one who is aware, for love is a flat ground. It is not a peak. It is simply, simply a flat surface. Shiva is not even aware of love. We are aware because we live in a state of non-love. And because of this contrast, sometimes we feel love. And that state, when you are constantly in love and you are not feeling it, that state is known as Bhairav. How to make this highest peak possible beyond duality? beyond unconsciousness, beyond and even beyond consciousness. Vigyan Bhairav Tantra, Vigyan means consciousness. It is journey beyond body, beyond mind, beyond soul, beyond everything. All that you call liberation or moksha, that is what is the state of Bhairav. So that is why Devi asked Shiva, what is thy reality? Why does this question arise? You can ask this question, but it will not carry any meaning. So try to understand why Devi is asking Shiva, what is your reality? Devi is in deep love with Shiva. When you are in deep love, for the first time, you encounter the inner reality. Then the form disappears. So for Devi, Shiva is not the form. Shiva is not the body. And you look at it, the, is, there is no form which can appeal to any human being. When you are in love, the body of the beloved falls away. It disappears. The form is no more and instead formless is revealed to you. For the first time you experience the formless of your beloved. You are facing an abyss. That is why we are afraid of love. We can face a body, we can face a face, 
we can face a form but we are afraid of falling in the abyss because there is no face there is no form if you love someone and really love then his body is bound to disappear and in general it disappears for a certain moment if your love is deeper the two have merged into one another then the body will completely disappear the form will not be there it is the union of formless to formless love is the union of formless to formless sex is the union not of union between two forms and with form ego comes into existence it is the through the beloved you enter the formless that is why we are afraid it is like falling into a bottomless abyss so this is the question which has come not just as a curiosity when devi says o oh shiva what is thy reality it appears like anybody else devi has fallen in love with the form things always start that way you fall into love with the form and slowly and slowly you get fed up of the form you have not to reach the state of formless and the journey stops she must have fallen in love with the man as a man and now when love has come to age it has blossomed the flower the seed has blossomed into beautiful fragrance and beauty he has become formless now he is not to be found anywhere that is why devi is asking o oh shiva what is thy reality because she is not seeing the form anymore it is a moment when this question is asked what is thy reality what is your reality it is a question asked always in a very intense moments of love and when questions are raised they become different according to the mind in which they are asked but devi is beyond the mind so she is asking the question so create the situation the milieu of the question in your mind they be must have been at loss shiva has disappeared his form has disappeared when love reaches the form love reaches its pinnacle the lover disappears why does this happen this happens because really everyone is formless and we only know the form the moment in the deep love or deep union for the first time you experience formless so devi is asking the question you are no more a body you are simply a form you but you live in the body you see someone from the outside the moment you start looking at someone from within the journey a new journey begins only this much for this morning we will continue this talk in another session